This can be on. No, no, no. But um, but really, <sighs> you asked me. You asked me. You asked me. Um, what my, you know, what kind of prompted me, or what what are my ideas as far as like being a dad, and um, a lot of my my being a dad, I think, comes from the lack. You know what I'm saying? Like the lack of of having that myself. So a lot of it is a child's imagination for me. You know, imagining what an awesome dad would be like. And um, and being able to look at my son, I can look at him and when I can see and, and, and understand awesomeness like on his face, then I know that it's a it's a it's a good space it's a good space for me to be in you know you, you can see it i can see my own childhood you know i can see um what it was like what it was like for me in those in those in those times when i just felt like i wanted one even even certain times when i'm making him do something that he don't want to do you know it might be like you know push-ups or something you know like you gotta do 100 push-ups tonight and it might suck but you know, I understand that when I was a kid, I wish I had somebody who would have made me do a hundred push-ups. You know, somebody who would have made me uh, run around the block or, or or fight the bigger kid or you know um, any of these number of things. And to not have that, it gives you exactly what you need to know what to provide. It's, it's weird because it's like a reverse learning. You know what I'm saying? Like some people have the example. And when you don't have the example, like you have the example of what not to be. So it was very easy to, to do whatever I felt like it was that would make me a good dad. You know, or um, just knowing what my dad missed out on. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and I can see like, damn, you know, you didn't teach me how to hold a football. You know, I'm going to teach my son how to hold a football. You didn't teach me how to um, get back on the bike when I fell off or when the shit hurt a lot. You didn't, you wasn't there to help me get back to that spot, that, that place where I needed to be, <laughs> to be able to, to, one of the things, bro, that, that really means a lot is to be able to watch not only my own son, but any child for that matter, and this is why I love coaching, is when they're confronted with something that they don't think that they can get past. They don't feel strong enough. They don't feel worthy enough. They don't feel smart enough. And to be there, to witness that transformation is, oh man, in the least, like, so joyful. You know, it's like being enjoy like not just enjoying but being in joy you know what i mean and uh that means that means the world to me man that that means that means a lot you yeah. know yeah my message i want to tell people is don't give up and uh things will get better just have patience hanging there and things will get better Becoming a father, you want to do the best that you can, you can do, and be the best that you can be. But um, you know, at the end of the day, is uh, you know, you do everything for them, and, and you know, they're the ultimate, they're the ultimate uh, uh, joy that that you know that you bring to this world. So.